Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss as we delve into the comparison between India's Chandrayaan-3 and Russia's Luna 25 missions. Both of these remarkable endeavors share the common goal of exploring the moon and unraveling its enigmatic secrets. So, let's take a deep dive into the intricate details and intricacies of these missions, comparing them across various aspects. Starting with the history of the missions, Chandrayaan-3 is the third lunar exploration mission by the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO. It was launched on July 14, 2023, and successfully landed on the moon's south pole on August 23, 2023. On the other hand, Luna 25 is the first lunar exploration mission by the Russian space agency Roscosmos since 1976. It was launched on August 10, 2023, but unfortunately, it crashed onto the moon's surface on August 20, 2023 due to an emergency during a crucial landing maneuver. Both missions set their focus on the moon's south pole, aiming to unravel its mysteries. Now let's talk about the specifications of these missions. The Chandrayaan-3 lander is approximately 2 meters high and weighs about 1,700 kilograms. It is equipped with a range of instruments, including a camera, a spectrometer, and a magnetometer. The rover, on the other hand, is about 1 meter long and weighs around 250 kilograms, equipped with a drill and a camera. On the other hand, the Luna 25 lander is approximately 1.5 meters high and weighs about 3 tons, equipped with a camera and a spectrometer. While both missions have their respective instruments, Chandrayaan-3 appears to have a more diverse set of capabilities with the inclusion of a magnetometer and a rover equipped with a drill. Cost-wise, the Chandrayaan-3 mission is estimated to cost around $33 million, while the Luna 25 mission is estimated at around $180 million. The Indian mission seems to have a lower price tag compared to its Russian counterpart, showcasing ISRO's ability to carry out cost-effective space exploration endeavors. In terms of power sources, the Chandrayaan-3 lander relies on solar panels and batteries, whereas the Luna 25 lander is powered by a nuclear battery. Both missions leverage different power sources, highlighting the diverse approaches taken by ISRO and Roscosmos in ensuring the functionality of their respective landers. Moving on to technology, Chandrayaan-3 utilizes a variety of advanced technologies, including a new type of lander and a rover specifically designed to function in the harsh environment of the moon's south pole. This demonstrates ISRO's commitment to developing innovative solutions for lunar exploration. On the other hand, Luna 25 employs a more traditional lander design but does incorporate some new technologies, such as a drill that can collect samples from the moon's surface. While both missions employ new technologies, Chandrayaan-3 seems to have a more forward-thinking approach with its novel lander and rover designs. Considering the manufacturing time, Chandrayaan-3 took approximately five years to manufacture, whereas Luna 25 took about seven years. This might suggest a more meticulous preparation on the part of ISRO for their mission. Now, let's discuss the reasons behind the success and failure of these missions. Chandrayaan-3's potential success can be attributed to several factors. Firstly, the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, has a wealth of experience in lunar exploration, having successfully launched two previous missions, Chandrayaan-1 and Chandrayaan-2. This experience provides them with valuable expertise and knowledge. Additionally, Chandrayaan-3 incorporates advanced technologies, such as a new lander and a rover capable of operating in the challenging environment of the moon's south pole. ISRO's meticulous planning and execution, along with extensive testing, also contribute to the potential success of the mission. On the other hand, Luna 25's failure is yet to be fully understood. However, it is believed that a combination of factors contributed to it. The long gap between Luna 25's launch and the previous Russian lunar mission, Luna 24, which was launched in 1976, could have resulted in a loss of expertise and experience within the Russian space agency, Roscosmos. Additionally, the use of outdated technologies in Luna 25's more traditional lander design might have played a role. Furthermore, the absence of a rover limits Luna 25's ability to explore the moon's surface extensively. In conclusion, 
both the Chandrayaan-3 and Luna-25 missions are commendable endeavors in exploring the moon's secrets. While Chandrayaan-3 has achieved success with its landing on the moon's south pole, Luna-25 faced unfortunate failure during its landing maneuver. However, these missions highlight the constant progress and advancements in space exploration technologies by nations around the world. Don't forget to like share and subscribe for more cosmic insights.